this is me, Karen. I see beauty in the most peculiar places. But a couple years ago, we were locked up with our family. We were hosted by the Turku castle until we weren't. My dearest husband, King Eric the Fourteenth, was left alone. All we could do was to remember and love. We dreamed of being together. Family was everything to us. And Bengt, our loyal friend, knew that. He could see the love we shared and was always there to help and advise. So this is our story. I was sick and tired of others telling me what to do with my life. So I decided to go save my love and asked Bengt Olofsson to join me. We first went to the wishing chamber and threw each two coins. One for luck and one for safety. Then we headed to the Turku castle where Eric was held captive. We were surprised to see that the way to the cell chamber was unsupervised. And even more surprised when the jail was empty too. We then sneaked into the castle's upper levels, but not a soul was found. After a long search, Bengt had a vision where Eric's cell should be. We rushed in to finally see Eric, but all we found was a room with our pictures on the wall and the marks of missing freedom on the window shelf. Oh, I missed him so. I felt our last hope was to talk to God directly. We wandered through the church, all the way to the holiest place, the altar. We asked for guidance. Like a miracle we heard, celebrate, because all the castle is free, a spell was put on them that turned everyone to animals. Everyone left to live in the wild, to live freely in nature again. We talked about what we should do now, and the royal wizard Bengt Olofsson said he would stay and live in the castle. So, I decided to go home. As I arrived to the other side of the Aura River, my friends told me I have a visitor and I heard a voice. I'm home now. As soon as I laid down, the cutest dog greeted me joyfully. And I knew they were Eric. Eric's spirit was now free.